Every single year, more than 30,000 Americans have their lives cut short by guns. Suicides, domestic violence, gang shootouts, accidents. Hundreds of thousands of Americans have lost brothers and sisters or buried their own children. In Philadelphia, some of our kids see more dead bodies under sheets than soldiers do in war. We do have a, a serious gang problem here in the Memphis and Shelby County area. When you live in a neighborhood that has no hope and has no future, uh, you, you're desensitized and you become hopeless yourself, and then you're, you're willing to do particular things that a person who has a different life experience would never do. Traditionally, the way we've addressed violence is to respond to it after it's occurs by the police apprehending the criminal, or even by hospitals treating the wounds associated with violence. But what's been missing is a real effort to try to prevent it from occurring in the first place. The National Forum comes into a community. It enlists the support of the major political leaders, usually the mayor of a city, uh, the police commissioner, the head judges in that city, and the folks who are in charge of the Department of Public Welfare, along with the school superintendents. They develop a comprehensive plan for reducing youth violence. Uh, they discuss it with us and with their peers, mayors and other leaders in other cities across the nation who've been successful in these efforts, and they put that plan together and start implementing it. National Forum has changed the culture to really push us more towards collaboration and partnership. The public health approach has really changed the way people view violence from a, a problem that's inevitable to one that can be addressed and prevented. Seeing the light bulb go off in people's heads as they see, oh wow, this is being done elsewhere, let me collaborate with this group, and seeing how that all fits together has been an incredible experience for me to participate in. These kids aren't being born into an equal playing field, and so it does take specialized initiatives like this to make sure that we're doing all we can to reach those marginalized communities. I think without the focus of our Department of Justice and the White House on this issue, uh, we'd be gambling about the future of so many young men and women's lives. One of the most important aspects of the National Forum on Youth Violence is that it's really engaging cities and communities where the problem exists to help find ways to solve the problem. It is that 16 to 26 year old population that drives the crime, but is also that segment of the population that in many ways needs the most from those of us that can provide those resources. It's about transforming lives and transforming lives in a way that we get people out of dangerous situations. It brought the non-law enforcement, the private partners, to the table to say that we have to be a part of this, that we cannot fix the violence in this community uh, without everyone pitching in. We have a partnership with the police department. We are social workers who work inside the stations to work with kids and families that the police are concerned about. My social worker, she helped me get out of jail, got me jobs. I dropped out of the gang, life that I was living before. I started going back to school, so now I'm about to finish school. We'll go to the school, we'll develop a plan with the administration staff, and sometimes if there's other agencies on campus, we'll team up with them. Ninth grade, it was pretty rough because, you know, that's when all the gangs and stuff try to, try to get at you. At first, I would say the police were kind of feared, but as I got to know the police officers, as they show us that they care about us and they actually want us to be safe, I've grown to love and have a better connection with the police officers. The city of San Jose is a strong collaborative between elected officials, departments of the city, the county, our community residents, our faith-based organizations, our community-based organizations, schools. It's about rescuing the children because they're the next generation. We've got to remember strong children need to go home to strong families because strong families make strong communities. One of the ways that the National Forum has helped us locally is to understand the importance of collecting data and evaluating that data. The other thing that it has helped us tremendously with is to focus on the holistic approach to things. Because of the incredible partnership we have between police, schools, faith-based organizations, nonprofits, we've been able to maintain the lowest violent crime rate of any major city in the country. 
the gang-related incidents in Shelby County Schools when we started the program were over 1,200. This last calendar year, they were under 500. Without putting handcuffs on anybody, we bring peace to a community that has been war-torn. For us here in San Jose, this isn't a program. This isn't an initiative. This is life and death. This is about truly saving lives.